Hi everyone, uh, Big Friendly Wargamer here, uh, as usual. Um, I thought I'd start doing little videos of uh, how I paint models, just showing you the steps and stuff. So, what this will basically be is how to start painting and how to get good at painting. Now, I'm not saying I'm brilliant at painting, but get to a standard that you're happy with. Now, what you've got to bear in mind is when you're painting, get to a standard you're happy with, not that everyone else is happy with. Um, so if you think it looks good, then it looks good. That's all you need to be. You don't need to set yourself standards that you don't that you can't reach. Just get get happy with your own painting, and that's good enough. It doesn't need to be any better than that. So what I'm going to start today is I'm going to show you how to undercoat some models using spray paints. And the models I've got, I've got a collection of my models because spraying with different colours so we've got a Necron Warrior who's going to be spray painted with Xandri Dust which is that one now these are Games Workshop spray paints you don't have to use Games Workshop spray paints I just do because they're easy to get hold of they're expensive kind of but I'm, they're what I used to we've got a Gene Stealer a Tyranid Gene Stealer that's going to be spray painted with Cow's Black We've got a Blood Angel Scout who is going to be spray painted with Mephiston Red. This is old, this is old can. I need to make use of these cans. And then we've got a little bit of terrain, which is just a, a little hatch thing. It's going to be spray painted with Lead Belcher. Um, now, some people would say that you've got to spray everything with an undercoat first and. Um, that these paints aren't undercoats, and they perfectly are. There's nothing wrong with them being used as undercoats. Um, now what I will do is I've got these little holders things, right? And all they are is a 40mm base with a cork on top. Now these corks, I think I got them off Amazon, and they were a pack of 30 for I think £3. Um, the bases are obviously a bit more expensive, but I had so many spares, I don't know where they've come from. I had them in my, my base box. So basically they're double sided tape and they're stuck down. So they're quite secure, they won't come off. Um, got some blue tack. And basically what I'm gonna do is, a bit of blue tack, stick it to the top there like that and uh, stick whatever I'm gonna spray paint on top like that. So basically that gives me a holder, as you can see there. So I can grip that. Now you're going to say I'm going to get spray paint on my hands, but that's where the magic glass come in. Now this is quite old, as you can see, I've used it a lot. Rubber glove, covers down to the wrist, perfectly good. Get them quite cheap in Tesco's or Sainsbury's or wherever, couple of quid. Hold your base like that, spray paint away. You get all the paint goes on the gloves, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the models prepared, show you them on their, on their stands, and then I will get a uh, spray painting, which I won't be able to record because it's outside. Um, but I'll show you the results when I come back. Right, so all the models are on their stands. You can see that's the Necron Warrior. Uh, that's the Gene Stealer on his base. Uh, and that's the Space Ring Scout. And that's the uh, little terrain piece. Um, now, you could perfectly, I said I was going to spray him Epstein Red, but it's because he's a Blood Angel. So if you want, you could spray him black and make him a Black Templar. Uh, you could spray him blue and make him an Ultramarine. Doesn't matter what colour you spray him. Um, and for example, my Necrons. Now, my colour scheme is, they, they're like a bone colour, they look like skeletons. Uh, you could spray him silver, or you could spray him black. Or you could spray him red if you want to. It doesn't really matter what colour you spray him. Um, it's down to how you paint your army. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and spray these. And um, show you the results afterwards. This is going to be quite a short video. Most of these are going to be quite short. Um, so yeah, so I will be right back once I've sprayed these. Right, I'm back. So I've only been gone about 10 minutes. Um... Spray painted all four models. Um, they're still a little bit tacky, so um, you'd have to be aware of that. So that's my Necron. 
give you a as you can see Zandri dust spray painted a bit like a skeleton that's my jean stealer spray painted black just the base that's the, the close the uh, that's the only model I've actually undercoated the rest of these are kind of base code it's my blood angel blood angel scout as you can see they're still a little bit wet but that's not a problem I'm just showing you basically you can get decent coverage with any spray paint on these models and then you've got the little bit of terrain which is the little hatch there so yeah so that's how I go about spray painting single models with these stands um, now like I said these videos are going to be very short very quick next video I will show you how to use a spray stick and to batch spray paint models um, it's a method I'm not used for a while but I, I it's awesome for massive armies where you've got lots of the same stuff so but that will probably be next week I'm going to put these out on Tuesdays if I can um, so yeah so I will see you same time next week uh, for another video how, how I um, paint models